everyone. I'm Leela Gaur Broom. I've been writing stories since 2002 and I write especially for children of ages 8 upwards to 14. I write about adventure, mystery, history um, and lots and lots about nature which is my favorite subject. I think I decided to become an author um, in 2006. Actually, it had been going on for many years before that. I'd been wanting to write, but I never had the time. But in 2006, after 16 years of running environment and nature camps for children just like you, I decided I needed to write something, crazy ideas, ideas which were naturally there amongst us, all of us, everywhere in India. And we, we just don't have enough stories about India, realistic stories. So I decided as soon as I finished camps, I've got to start writing. So believe it or not, I got myself a laptop. I taught myself how to read and how to work on a computer. It still drives me nuts a bit. And then I started to write. And since 2000, and six, I just cannot stop writing. My favorite book from my childhood was this one. Oh, it's written backwards, sorry. It's The Secret Garden by Francis Hodgson Burnett. What a beautiful story. Someday, if you haven't read it yet, you must read it. I bet you like it. It's it's not a girl story, it's not a boy story. Everybody can read it and it's such a super story. You must read it. One of the funniest incidents of my childhood, I think, was that my father brought me up on stories of Corbett. You've heard of Jim Corbett? So Jim Corbett and the man-eating tiger of Rudrapayag and all of those stories because he was a hunter in those days, being in the army. And um, so he brought us all up on stories of man-eating tigers and leopards and lions. So my worst nightmare was always of being eaten up mauled and eaten up by a leopard. Just such a crazy idea because there were no leopards anywhere where we were, no lions and no tigers. I guess what inspires me the most about writing would be the inspiration I get when I see imagination and wonder and excitement in the eyes of children like you. When I see that, I want to write still more. I just, it's my, my writing table is like a magnet for me. And I keep getting there every morning as if I can't stop and I have to get there and I have to start writing because I know the minute I write, Children are going to read those books and they're going to enjoy them. I know they're going to enjoy them because I've seen it in your eyes. The five places in my travel wish list. I have a bucket load of things for my wish list, but the five most um, uh, well, desired of my tra on my travel list would be Bhutan, Madhya Pradesh, Orissa, Andamans, and Burma. All these places hold a little bit of mystery for me, and that's why. A 
lot of people ask me how do you choose the subjects of your books the titles of your books the subjects those are that's easy if you look around you you're sitting in a bus or you're traveling by train you're just sitting with friends and listening to them talking you don't talk just listen to them talk stories are right there they're there you can hear them all you have to do is listen and that's what i do whenever i travel whenever i'm with people i'm listening to what their conversations are and so much of what they are talking ends up in one sentence maybe two sentences maybe an idea perhaps in one of my books sometimes it becomes a subject of my books um in initially it was uh, the flute in the forest that was my first book that was very easy i had had that story in my head since i was 14 and finally at the age of 50 something i wrote that book so that story was in my head for a long long time but i had to experience nature i had to experience nature for several years on the t estates where i lived in south india with my husband for 9 years on this wonderful remote very wild area where i experienced trekking and swimming in a rocky pool and listening to the wild elephants on our back door um hearing the animals in the forest up on the slopes above us and the river flowing below all these things made a difference and so i could easily write a story on nature after all those experiences and that's what happened and the same thing with my second book i wanted uh, children to experience tolerance and friendship and so i wanted that to be the subject of my book and uh, having experienced camps i could see there were children who were bullies there were children who were meek and mild there were others who were friendly and there were others who were creative so there were so many different kinds of kids around me all of them i could put into my various books and that's what i've been doing so the stories the subjects of my stories are children again like you besides writing what are my other favorite activities i'd say the most favorite one would be now at my age would be sitting out in the garden and watching the birds i'm lucky i live on a farm and it's so green and beautiful out here and there's so many birds now so many times i'm just sitting outside and watching the birds their nests their nesting habits the little fledglings flying off every day there's a new story there too if books are your best friend then a library is what to me i think to me it's the gateway to a humongous world of imagination of wonder of knowledge of excitement mystery just about everything everything is available in a library and the best part is you can choose your own subjects you don't have to be told oh, go for this one study this thing do this no you don't have to do any of that all you need to do is go to the library ask your librarian can i have a book on mystery could i have a book on history um i like uh, thrillers oh how about fantasy i like fantasy oh no maybe sci-fi is better and your librarian will be able to help you with it each and every time that's what a library is great for it's bliss for me if i had to give myself a book title i think it would be um the granny who could cook up a story every 5 minutes i think i can do that sometimes i'm asked 
what do i want to convey to my audience sometimes i have a message sometimes i'm just busy just wanting them to have fun reading like you children i want you to enjoy reading the stories that i write so some of it is humorous some of it is mysterious there's adventure there's uh, history even our history books children the books that we have they're so outdated some of them and it's time we knew what our history really was so i like to research it i like to find out about it i look in the gal in the uh, archives i will look up uh, the internet and i will ask lots and lots of questions and i will put that into the book because i want you people to have information truthful information about this beautiful country that we are living in india is such a vast country we have everything here we have so much beautiful nature we have so many varieties of people customs cultures traditions food costume you name it we've got it here but we don't know enough about it so is there time that we knew more about it isn't it time that we learned it in a fun way or that we read about it in a fun way and that's what i like to do put it into my books in a little snippet here and a little snippet there and you don't even know that you're reading some of this but you're getting to know anyway and it's part of our country we should know so children i've written four books of which the first two for flute in the forest and i'm busy writing i have written in fact the serial the the sequel to this book it's um it's with a publisher right now they're looking at it and i'm hoping fingers crossed fingers crossed that it's going to get published the second one is this one red kite adventure i'm sorry all the words are backwards for you red kite adventure which is a very exciting story the other two i've written uh very quickly are earthquake boy uh, sorry uh the anishola chronicle and the earthquake boy and i'm busy writing the sequel to flute in the forest and i am also busy with another book the f- the sixth one which is a story set in goa but i'm not telling you any more it's exciting it's adventure it's mystery history all of that but there's a lot more to it i can't tell you more otherwise the story will be out so thank you for listening um i would love to hear what the readers and the you know, children the members of your library have to say about this these little videos um and um, i must thank the house of books and tales library you can place your order with them as well they will also send the books to you and one day when i visit this the city i shall come and see you all all your members at house of books and tales thank you for listening